bites. The podcast as hollow as the bones of dinosaurs. My name is Matthew Dahl, and each week I and a rotating series of guest co-hosts talk about and rate a genius of prehistoric animal, be it dinosaur, mammal, arthropod, and so on. This week I'm joined by someone who is trying to weasel her way out of the prognathodon episode I had planned for us. We'll be like, we can eat after, yeah, like we we don't have to do that. Well, let's like, eat, watch a movie. It's Lexi Ryan. How are you? Yeah, it's me. I don't like big fish under the sea. I'm sorry. Well, because it's not <laughs> fish. It's a reptile. Yeah, I don't like anything big in the ocean. Uh, unless, that's why we got to do it with you. Unless it's a big yeah. octopus. Really? Octopi? You're not afraid Octopi of... Octopi cra- are so smart. I'm not talking squids. You're talking about... Cra- you are afraid of krakens? Well, yeah. Okay. That's krakens case, aren't real. Uh, they aren't real now, but they're, they're also... They're, they're just... Not, they're not real. They're not real. Yeah. No. Okay, so be quiet about it. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up about it. Shut up. There's no such thing. I don't know what accent. Though. This is funny, though. Uh, but no, we, we, I know you're... Uh, I I know you don't like sea monsters. So that's why I think it's so funny to talk with you about them. Yeah, well, I won't even go on a cruise or any of that stuff. I mean, fair enough. I mean, so. cruises are also kind of boring. Or like, also I, like they look fun, but the fact that they're in the middle of this place where all these terrifying monsters live underneath the water is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have. I'm not really afraid of creature. I mean, I have some form of thalassophobia, but it's nothing. It's not not nearly as intense as yours. Yeah, mine is definitely. It gets worse as I get older. Yeah, like um, it's more like. It's just like imagining more than like actual because I know the creatures that are actually there don't really scare me. We know this is per Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. We know more about space than we do our own ocean. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There was this one thing about that. There was this, no, thank you. There was this one TikTok I saw that was like this this lady. She was just treading water in the middle of the and you just she was pointing the camera down. There was just their her her mm. flippers. And apparently according to the text, it was twelve thousand feet deep where she was. And there was just nothing. Apparently, you could hear little clicks and said those were sperm whales. And I'm like, no, none of that. Why are you alone out there treading water at 12,000 feet below where there's clicking of giant monsters that you don't know where they oh are? God. That sounds like the worst. Nope. Nope. No. no. See, even the other day, my friends were like, do you want to watch a scary movie? And I was like, I mean... Depends on what to, kind I, of... I was like, the scariest movie I can think of right now is The Meg. <laughs> <laughs> like... that so fl- have you seen the trailer for the next one? I No, of course I haven't. The next one's going to have dinosaurs as in it. As soon as it comes on the TV, I will turn the channel. The, the trailer for the next one, I saw it when I went to see, uh, I think, uh, what movie did I see? You oh, saw I, it? The I didn't one? see The Meg. I saw a trailer for it when I saw mm, okay. when I saw the new Transformers movie, I think, The Rise of the Beast or something. And it, it, it opened up with a T-Rex on a beach. And then <laughs> this is about to sit there like a big mag came out of uh, the ocean. Just yeah, one of my friends them. was like, maybe you need something tamer. Maybe like, I don't know, D- Deep Blue Sea, which is... which is Samuel Jackson. Yeah, like it's, I know it's actually like, LL Cool J. Samuel Jackson's in is it. Is he though. in there too? Yeah. That's what I thought. I had an argument with this guy about it. Anyway, maybe they're both I, was, I was like, that, that was my first R-rated movie. Yeah. And maybe that's... Where the impression it's just, it's is like you're is, like a golden retriever where you get impression as a kid maybe, of something scary but just i'm glad whole life. so we don't have a big scary megalodon or whatever we no, have today we, we have we have cynosauropteryx which i need oh to show you a gosh, picture of gosh say that one again cynosauropteryx cynosauropteryx yep chinese lizard wing okay so i'm, I'm gonna down. show you because you do best with pictures i didn't have a picture of padokasaurus before because i wouldn't really have pictures of it that's okay i'm imagining a cute little itty bitty guy sure with a big badonka donk right with a big booty <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah of course if you have the episode check it out yeah it's, 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 probably, <laughs> there's actually a dinosaur called bronto which, which, which wins thunder thighs <gasps> no <laughs> yeah there is i love that yeah we, i've already done an episode on sorry well but, i got i gotta i gotta watch it yeah with my friend yeah. christina so it's last easy uh let's see hold on wait uh, sino Sore up. I feel like gonna... that's a dinosaur Lizzo would enjoy. Oh yeah, she would. I think yeah. we talked about Lizzo on that episode. <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah. Let's see, Sinosauropteryx was a cat-sized theropod. A, a Lizzosaurus. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh, where's... Okay, say the name of this one one more time. Sinosauropteryx. Sinosauropteryx. It has like one extra syllable that I'm prepared for. Okay. Uh, here we go. It has like apparently in this rendering. It has like a lemur's tail, but it's crazy long. Uh, yes. Uh, here's the thing. We know it has that. And you we do? know the color. I'm going to talk okay, about okay, this. Okay, yeah. I would love to so, learn more about this. So type is a consignated theropod, a group of bee-eating dinosaurs that are little and cute and only few evolutionary branches away from the tyrannosaurs. Rawr. Okay. <laughs> rawr, rawr. <laughs> Size. I, see, I feel like 
you know, we're just, these are just, we're repeating a lot of the same sort of sizes. 3.35 feet slash 2.8 to 3.1 meters long, 8 to 18 ounces, 200 to 450 grams. Uh, yeah, grams. <laughs> I feel like I take this dinosaur's weight and antidepressants every yeah, day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is a scrawny little guy. Like, this is why I want to talk about prognathin, <laughs> and you're just for sobriety. You chose this one. Out I of, did. Yeah. I, I did, to be fair. That was on me. And it was on me to assume that you'd agree to do another yes, yes. Moses. So I'll have someone you are, else. You are correct. I'll have someone else talk about it. You are correct. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I just know you love them so much, no. man. No. <laughs> no. I mean, that's when we talked about erectopus with the feet. She's just shaking her head. Erectopus. Closing her head. <laughs> yes, it was enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is carnivore. It lived in the early Cretaceous, 125 to 122 million years ago. Okay. Uh, found in China. It was described in 1996. Pop culture appearances, the TV documentary's Ancient Wing, uh, Four Winged Dinosaur, Dinomorphosis. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool and mammals versus dinos the rise of mammals apparently these are all documentaries some of these sound like z-grade sci-fi channel movies yeah yep for I, sure i have some terrible news doctor your patient has a horrible case of dinomorphosis <laughs> he's morphing into <laughs> he's a dinosaur he's becoming a four-winged dinosaur as we speak <laughs> so this is a winged dinosaur no right? that one's micro oh okay, okay so this one does not i was one. like in the picture it didn't seem it like... does not have yeah. one as well as those appears in the game jurassic world's alive jurassic park 3 park builder for the game boy advance and jurassic world evolution 2 so it's okay. not any of the movies but it's in a lot of the games of the franchise. okay yeah I, I don't think i played any of the games yeah, no, I like. There's a lot of dinosaurs that are in the games that are in none of the movies. Like one of the dinosaurs I talked about was Acrocanthosaurus. It was this big, meaty dinosaur um, from the early Cretaceous. And I say like it's in pretty much every Jurassic. It's one of the most prominent dinosaurs in the franchise of Jurassic Park. That's in precisely zero of the movies. Interesting. I wonder so, what that, why that choice was made. Because it's in like every game, every book, every like thing about it. Yeah, but so it's why just, not put it in the film? I don't know. I guess they just don't think it's notable enough. Even Weird. Though. Yeah. All right, so if you love one of those lamos, looks like all the fuzzy raptors and feathered tyrannosaurus nowadays, and thinks, "Damn, I miss when meat eating dinosaurs were scaly and lizard-like." What happened? <laughs> uh, well, Cynosauropteryx happened. That's what, because when the fossil of this critter were first discovered, the rock imprints of showed feather-like filaments arising from the skin around the back half of the skull, neck, back, arms, and tail. This makes it the first non-avian dinosaur discovered with feathers and patches alongside the rest of the bones by the animal was fully feathered all around. Wait, so this was the dinosaur that kind of changed it all? Yes. <gasps> That's awesome. With this incredible discovery, the later findings of similarly related animals with feathers and feathered like filaments, it became more and more apparent just how bird-like dinosaurs were. Yeah. And this is where it started. Um, even ones that weren't in the lineage they evolved into birds had had um feathers we think like more and more dinosaurs expect to have feathers by the day the point that freaking t-rex is believed to have have, mm -hmm. have them and some herbivorous dinosaurs like pachyrhinosaurus and lineasaurus are hypothesized as having them too um, yeah i really i thought the one in the most recent jurassic world yeah yeah uh the red one the, the, one, the one that goes yeah. like under the ice yeah, i yeah, believe that, that one was beautiful yeah yeah pyroraptor and so in, in the games you can change the color of it for your oh cool and make it like real macaw color and other very stuff. cool very make it blue or purple or green or yeah as well as red it's very it's vibrant oh very very vibrant um so uh cyanosaurus was the first dinosaur we have found discovering, as well as all this, it was the first dinosaur we have, have physical evidence indicating what color it was. Interesting. This is getting slightly more common. You have to have very well-preserved fossils. Yeah. Uh, after scientists just examined the fossilized feathers of Cynoceropteryx and numerous other feathered dinosaurs, they found that they have preserved melanosomes, which are the cell components that give animal cells and tissues their color. Right. So it makes like, sense because like melanin is yeah, what gets like if, pigment in your skin. Exactly. If you're wondering why you, why you can't tan or your skin has all those blemishes, blame your own melanin or melanosomes. Mm. So luckily my skin is perfect and I, don't, <laughs> and I don't even use moisturizer, which in Colorado is a bad idea. That is a bad idea. I appeal yeah. constantly, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so scientists just studied the melanosomes of Cynoceropteryx and found the majority of its feathers have what's called Phyomelanosomes, which are the ones that store red, pit, red pigment. Okay. Uh, and after looking through various lighter and darker brands of color throughout the animal and seeing its patterns, they concluded that Cynoceropteryx was chestnut or reddish brown in color with white rings down its tail and a white bandit mask on its face. Wow, very specific. Which means... It's that a raccoon? It's a red panda. 
Oh my god! It's a red panda in dinosaur form. Adorable. Yeah, like it's not cute. Oh my! But what did it eat? It, it was a carnivore. It ate like insects though and other stuff. Like okay, that. well, so, do red pandas eat carnivores? Yeah, they're 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 uh, like raccoons. They're in the carnivore. World. So they'll eat well, whatever, right? Well, they'll, yeah, I guess they could eat like yeah. bamboo and other stuff. They're not really pandas, or are they? I don't know what raccoons are, man. Or I think we're well, talking about a red a red panda. Red is, panda, yeah. I think, are raccoons rather than bears. Well, pandas they, are bears. Rec- red pandas. But I think are, red pandas eat like plants. I think they? they're both. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right. I think hold they on. do both. They, hold on, let me check. <laughs> red yeah. panda. Yeah, because most of, the majority of my exposure of red pandas has been through mm-hmm. okay. uh, turning red. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, I should specify uh, the red panda. It does not have white stripes down its tail. It has black stripes down its tail. It does have a red face though. Oh, okay. a red and white face, but uh, the, the oh. Oh. oh wait, no, some of them have white. Okay, hold on. I was gonna say I think the one this in, one has red. In black. turning red, it has white. I don't think the one in turning red has a, any stripes on its tail. I think it looks like No. I think oh, okay. it's just a, a, a regular tail. I was just picturing it that way. Oh, wow. A possible new paleo- topic on to talk about paleobites. Re- reconstructed skull and head of Simocyon, um, a carnivore, early relative of the modern red panda. It looks like a cat. It does look like a kitty cat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Wow. It looks like a cat slash a bear. I can see sort of the bear in it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, red pandas. They are. Yeah, they're in the family. They're kind. Of, okay, let's see. Where are we here? So this thing is like a scrawny, tiny red panda, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, also, this is. I don't know why I'm looking at red. It just looks like a red panda. It's not related at all. Okay, so it looks like the red panda. Okay, so it's in a family that's. It's not really related to pandas. It's more closely related to seals and skunks and and um, badgers. I'm a badger. H- Hufflepuff. I was going to say, are you? A- <laughs> I thought you were a cancer. <laughs> Hufflepuff, badger. Yeah, I'm also a Hufflepuff and a cancer. <laughs> we're badger crabs. So Crabby badgers. Oh, by the way, uh, my fiance is also a Hufflepuff. Of course. Of course. We're the best. And a cancer. So. We're the best. <laughs> we, are pretty, we are pretty good. I thought, wait, she might be a Ravenclaw, actually, I think about it. I'll have to, you gotta get her tested. I gotta get her yeah, tested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she does have she she is tested. She has autism. My first <laughs> <laughs> She's either a Hufflepuff with Ravenclaw tendencies or a Ravenclaw with Hufflepuff tendencies. Absolutely. Like I am a Hufflepuff with Slytherin tendencies. I can see that. Yeah. I'm a Hufflepuff with Ravenclaw Crafty tendencies. Me. <laughs> yeah, cunning, yeah. ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, hold on. I I I was looking at this, I forgot to see what they okay. Uh it may, feeds mainly on. Bo- oh wow, you're right. It feeds mainly on bamboo shoots and leaves, but also on fruits and blossoms. So yeah, they are herbivores. Yeah, just or, herbivores. But the, but our dude it, is he, a carnivore. He's a carnivore. Yeah. So uh, let's see. I have a video of it here because it was shown in the, the a new pack of Jurassic World Evolution, a DLC, which is a game I really like. That where you build your own Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, I should say. Uh, it had a feathered species pack that had at least four different creatures, and one of them was Cynoceropteryx. Yeah. So after watching this little clip of it's what, not as cute as you of, thought of, of the rendering, it's yeah, it seems a little more ferocious, especially especially. Well, it is also that's a game of the Jurassic Park. Well, license. right, especially so. because the way that they portrayed it, it runs like a raptor, which is a little terrifying. Yeah, especially with but the it's boss. also so little though. But it also it makes me wonder right between us on this. Yeah, part. I was like, if you could, de- if this, It'd be like a cat this is another good question it. for like the start of a different one. Um, was if you could domesticate any dinosaur, this one would be pretty good domesticated. Because this. This one that we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We just have to make sure we don't have any other yeah, look, pet. Look, like, look at this animation. It rolls like on a... <laughs> like a ferret? Yeah, Like yeah. We, we we wouldn't be able to have like cats, though. Or yeah. maybe dogs. Oh, it, no, probably not. Probably like, would. Oh, I don't know. If it ate bugs and lizards, it probably... It, it, it might get in fights I don't know. The, again, wouldn't... the rendering we just saw made it sound like I don't want my cat around it. I guess it's... Uh, granted, my cat can be pretty mean, so... Uh, but yeah, no, that's Cynoceropteryx, basically. It's just like, it's a, very, a pioneer in uh, feathered dinosaur knowledge. That's super cool that this one, yeah. or frustrating, I guess, depending on the side that you sit on. And, and yeah, the if you're aesthetic. a traditionalist and like, oh, I like them to be, you know, what? big and lizardy and not the feathered. But, right. but this is, yeah, that's interesting. So this was truly the first one they ever saw. And they well, were like, I mean, oh, if, I think if those you're not feathers. counting Archaeopteryx, I guess, but we thought that was a bird. We've, you, oh, I see. But okay. and now we know it's actually more of a dinosaur. Okay. But so, but this one was the first, like, oh, uh, other ones that aren't related. And to what birds. year would you? Did you say this one was ninety three? Ninety three. So wait, ninety yeah. three? Yeah. Oh, I did forget the feather thing is pretty recent. So yeah, that makes it sense. is. Yeah. So, but actually, I, wait, ninety six. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> ninety six. Well, that makes sense too, because I was gonna say like, 
because I remember like the first Jurassic Park, obviously, yeah. was 93. Three. Yeah. Yeah. And no feathers, nope, obviously. No feathers. In I didn't that think that And then they stuck with that for quite some time. Yeah. 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 But then, like, yeah. And then, like, the, then the new Jurassic World, they, they kept them featherless to keep continuity with the franchise. And they also kind of had a little workaround where they think they said in Jurassic World, like Dr. Wu said, like, we've always spliced the genomes. Right. And if, they, yeah. and if we had them pure, they'd look very different. Does and the spoiler alert? Does that guy end up dying? No, he's he lives. No, he almost dies, and then he, they save him. Yeah, they save him, and then he's, he, he's and in he, the lab. He's in the lab, yeah. and he's the one who lets the locust free to yeah. let, let yeah, the, yeah, kill yeah. the other locust in the most recent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a happy ending at the end. So I think if I had to choose a partner, though, from any of the Jurassic movies, you know yeah. who I'm going with uh, Alan Grant. Yeah, of course, yeah, Doctor no, Alan Grant. You, you and my fiance, they, they, they no question. Yeah, like they, they no both question. love Alan Sam, Grant. Sam, Sam Neil, Sam Neil. I bow down to you. Yeah, he is yeah. a Kiwi, which is funny. It's funny to hear him I talking. I love it. It's funny I love to hear him it. talk in his natural accent. Of course accent. he is. New yeah. Zealand is my favorite place. Yeah. I'm fairly oh, certain. New Zealander. I'm fairly certain he's a Kiwi. That's Let me where they filmed Lord of the Rings. That is where they filmed Lord He should have had a part in like it. Mount Doom. <laughs> yep, he's New Zealander. Yep. Yay. Oh, and he still looks good. Of well, course that was in 2017, he does. He's, though. But... He's Sam Neill. He always looks good. I mean, he, he the most recent movie was after that, and he's still looking good. Yeah. And he finally smooches Laura Dern. I know. I cheered when that happened in the theater. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> in The Witcher, there, just a side note, there is a... There's like some ancient spell or so I can't remember what they're talking about. It turns you into a it, no. It, it's bird. it's like in the first or second season when oh. they're talking about something called the Laura Dern. It's <laughs> it, it's Dar- Darren. It's like Laura Darren. How what do it's they? Called. It was what it's called. But every time they say it, I'm always like Laura, Laura Darren. <laughs> the Laura Darren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, that sounds like a spell that would. So this one yeah. had. No claws, though, or I no, mean, no, it has no. claws, but I mean, like, yeah, no, but no, no, no sickle claws. claws. No, 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 none of those sickle claws like the raptors okay. have. It's unrelated to those. So, dinosaurs. what is it relying on for just like it's speed? It's, be- it's and, speed and, and, and its the, little beak full of teeth. Beef, beef, not beak, I mean, it's jaws well, full of teeth. Yeah, but it kind of was elongated. Yeah, right? jaws yeah. little little teeth. I think I think it was more like. It, are there are there any dinosaurs that have like? shark type of teeth where it's like there's more teeth after you like you know what i mean like uh we think they might have lost teeth a lot and then grew them back a oh, lot that's freaking cool yeah also uh car car dontosaurus literally means shark tooth lizard <laughs> does so, it have shark i don't think it might. i don't lizard? know okay. in the prognathodon episode that we weren't going to talk about we were going to talk about but you refused. silence <laughs> <laughs> i mentioned the bite force of it i mentioned that actually the, the strongest bite force of any animal we know is of the cookie cutter shark have you heard of this creature no where does it live oh it's it's so little it's two feet long but it has the biggest bite 40, force. Forty thousand pounds per square inch so it can friggin just chomp on my finger and chomp it straight off oh absolutely it chomps little bites out of whales like it eats yeah. like blue whales it, it just takes man, a bite ha- and then flies. I hate the ocean, man. <laughs> also, it has bitten little chunks out of nuclear submarines. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. And they were just like, oh, is this an attack? Oh, no, it's just a cookie cutter it's shark. Just a sh- <laughs> and it, why would you give it such a cute name? It, it's because it leaves little marks that look like, the, the bite marks look like cookies. How, uh, I, I, I find, sure, I understand the logic, but I disagree. <laughs> it's a cookie cutter shark. With the well, fiercest, it oh, what a little cookie cutter. <laughs> oh, like. oh, no. And it's horrifying. Like There's like corpses that have been washed ashore of beached whales that are just covered in bites from this These thing. These little things? Oh, like, my God. It's almost like parasitic because like it just takes a bite of you. It doesn't kill you. It just takes a bite of you and then runs off. Why, not? Off. Why wouldn't it just have more? Well, because it's so little. It doesn't need much more. Things I did not need to know existed in our oceans. Are you doing a food check? Yeah, I'm doing a food check. Okay, me too. Oh, yeah, God. All right. Uh, I think it says it's on its Mine way. Mine says picked up and on its way. Yay. Estimated arrival, 1235 to 1245 for me. Wait, 1235? Two, sorry. Okay. I was like, whoa. Oh, mine's almost here. Give Kiana a minute to drop off your order. Okay. Do you mind, do you want me to wait for yours? No, 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 no. You can go ahead and eat. Okay. But should we rate this one? Let's or... rate and get out of here. We got food coming. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So gotta... I'm gonna rate it like a, I think in terms of its contribution to science, I I'm agree. Rate Sixty million or something. Agree. I'm gonna, I'm probably not as high up because mm-hmm. I also like the aesthetic of the. It's cute. The it's like things. a little red panda. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say fifty five. 55 million. 50, 55 million solid thank you for your contribution to opening our minds exactly and the fact that you're so cute they're a red panda dinosaur Except and like for it could 
bite the hell out of me. Yeah. There's some dinosaurs that we have the colors of that are incredible. It's like there's one that's like almost rainbow colored. <laughs> that's fantastic. I also love the fact that the colors are in this one. And yeah, they, like, we're, we're a, confident that the colors yeah, are what they are. There's one dinosaur that we know of that doesn't have that we found out the colors of it not because of its feathers. It was actually an ankylosaur like one so like big spikes and oh, whatever. yeah. Uh, but it was so well preserved. It's called Boreal Pelta. It's so well preserved that it's like it was mummified like its organs are there it's it's all rock but oh it's, it's like the animal just there very cool it's like the, and we know based on looking at it, that it was reddish brown with like sort of well brownish reddish and greenish sort of thing like i was like it's christmas <laughs> oh it's christmas that's one thing yeah sure that's that's a nicer way to look at because i was looking at it more horrifying because i was like it's camouflaging but why oh. would a creature that armored and spiky need, need to, to camouflage, camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> like, wh- because it loves christmas <laughs> that's that's it okay yes okay <laughs> okay so it's 55 million 50 million 60 million that's it for this week <laughs> if you want to get a hold of the show and contact me blah 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 blah. i'm hungry my food is here <laughs> 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 Ma- matthew donald 64 and matthew and paleo bites podcast gmail.com lexi my instagram is lexi tate 44 yep and that uh, Megazoic, buy it. We're gonna eat. Blah. 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 <laughs> Blah. Say the end of every episode. Blah. <laughs>